Hello everyone, my name is Paul, I work for a company called Micrographics. We are an audience partner in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I'd like to do a quick video on the fact that we are able to schedule the publishing of Revit models. For those of you who are still working on a local area network, this may be a little bit um, new, although the workflow might be familiar to those of you already use the Autodesk Construction Cloud with cloud models which you publish your model to but we'll go through the explanation uh, shortly. The Revit Cloud model after it's been established may be published to the cloud. The local file that you are working on and this the, the central file for want of a better word or the what we refer to as the cloud worksheet model is an invisible file on the cloud platform it only shows up the first time that you initiate it and after that you have to publish it to update it. So to all intents and purposes it is not the file that you see on the cloud until you publish it. And the publish settings you can find on the collaborate tab. That's where you can see what is being published. It's very much like a print dialog. You can also publish your sheets if you'd like. And when we synchronize what we are doing is we are saying let's update the local file uh, uh, with whatever changes was affected by other users on the cloud worksheet model and let's also update the cloud worksheet model with our changes. So everybody in the production team should do this at a specific time during the week or make sure that they've at least synchronize the latest updates with the central model in preparation for a publishing to the cloud usually so that somebody can share those published models via the Collaborate Pro swim lanes using the sharing of packages and the consumption of packages to update your team's models with the other team's uh, updated models. All right, so, but the synchronization is important so that we can update the cloud worksheet model which is not the model that is currently on the cloud. So you'll see that in this instance our cloud model is contained within our docs uh, file repository within our team folder and within that team folder is the latest published model. In this case we are specifically looking at uh, 002, this one over here, and if we look at the date that it was published last, it would have been January 5. So we are certainly seeing an outdated file over here. Today's date is the 15th of January, and so that is 10 days old. So you won't get a notification that you should synchronize your file, but you might manage that via an email notification or a protocol that is handed out to the uh, team that is working on the model to synchronize the file. Traditionally, anybody that's working on the central file can publish the file. If you go to the Home tab under the Autodesk Docs item, you can see the files in the folder that you're working on or other folders. And if an update is available, it's always a good idea just to refresh so that you can see the latest information and then you would be able to publish this file if there is a publish event available there are some nuance in here that you can specify whether or not you want to publish the latest or whether you want to publish the latest without links All right so that option is available to you through the Revit folder Now, when you move on to the cloud, you do have the ability to publish from the cloud if you have managed permissions on the folder, on your team folder structure, and then your shared folder structure, as well as uh, if you are a project administrator, and you also have to have a license of BIM Collaborate Pro. So, the typical workflow is you go and look for the team that you want to create the publish schedule for. In this case, it's the architectural team down here, the doc green team that you see there. I've selected that and now I want to go and create a weekly publish schedule. So you can see on the right hand side it's only weekly that's available but that's normal in the sense that we do normally weekly publish 
in the um, in the industry and then over here you can see that we've got some settings where sorry about that let's just close this where you can say when do you want to when do you want to do that okay and at what time weekly and at what time and then schedule the publishing of your latest content from Revit. So in other words, everything that was synchronized to the central model, that will be published onto the cloud as the latest file that's available. And then when the manager of information or the information manager on the swim lanes creates a package, they will have the latest pack, uh, uh, published versions available to you. There is a little help over here that, that you can go to. Uh, it just takes you to a help page and there you can see what that looks like unfortunately on the cloud we do not have the option to publish without links and that could result in some issues so perhaps as a manager or as an information manager you should make sure that f to unload the links uh, when you publish that's best practice there's some help available as to or you can contact us to advise you as to what's the best way of uh, publishing Revit files if you want to limit their size. Uh, but sometimes you want to publish them with links, and that is especially true uh, if you don't uh, have uh, clash detection and so on, and you want to save the view or navigate the file and so forth if you don't have this federated model through the project model. But Usually we want to publish without links. Unfortunately, it doesn't publish without links. It publishes with links, and so that is the that is the issue at the moment. So, but you can generate this uh, latest uh, files, and then after you've done that, you will find that they will appear under the settings, and you can see which teams have created a weekly publish schedule. It actually does represent it here on your teams within the settings, and so that really is the beginning of automating the publishing of the models. I did create a case. Uh, I've uh, put the link within the uh, text with this video on our blog where you can go and vote for the idea if you would like to have the uh, publishing without links to be available for you in the future on the ACC platform. Of course, we can create ideas on the Revit Idea Station and that is a way for us to democratically influence what or attempt to influence how Autodesk develops the software going into the future and I advise you to do that. Until next time it's been a pleasure chatting to you and have a great week. Best of luck with your projects and enjoy Autodesk Construction Cloud and Revit.